Good day YouTube, uh, Steve716 here. Right, I've had a delivery, which was yesterday, and uh, it took uh, only a couple of days to get here, so I'm well chuffed with that. So I've got, I actually got my battery now for my um, Project E-Bike, finally. And it's the uh, 48 volt, and it's the uh, 13 amp hour. And I'm gonna do a unboxing for you of this battery. So I actually haven't opened it yet and I'm gonna open it up now for you guys so you can see how it comes in the box, what's actually in the box, how it's packaged and how secure it looks. And uh, just, just a little overall of, of the battery itself. So um, I'm also currently waiting for the actual kit to turn up. So hopefully should be today or tomorrow so I can get on this build now and uh, really can't wait i'm so excited to get this sorted out and um but first so here it is guys here's the box with the uh is it halong 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 i think halong ba uh, battery inside um yeah it was delivered by dhl and this was ordered off ebay on saturday and i'll pay for it on saturday and I took delivery on the Tuesday, so which was absolutely fantastic from the uh, seller. I'm, I'm, I'm really chuffed. You know, I'm always a bit dubious with those uh, sellers who are going to end up waiting for a month for it to come from China or somewhere. But anyway, yeah, it was uh, supplied from the UK, so I'm really chuffed. And uh, so let's get in here and have a look. Sorry about my shoddy camera work. <clears throat> right. It's other end open. This side's quite, quite well boxed. It's really hard doing this in one end, guys. Sorry. Oh well, yeah, okay. Here we go. So that looks like the charger manual. And we obviously have the, the battery here. It looks well packed. It looks pretty good. We've got a couple of keys here. So let's take them out. instructions out so we've got a charger in here with a UK plug so that's all good and uh, got some more instructions here for the actual uh, charging and user manual basically you know normal common sense stuff for the uh, battery itself and here is the battery nice Oh, it's got some weight to it, isn't it? Blimey. So there you go. That's what it is. Yeah, nice little uh, display up there. And I think this has got the USB port on it as well. Yep, there it is in there. I'll see keys for, to, to lock it to the, the tray there itself. And it's got some nice, nice long cables on there, which is pretty cool. I never asked for any uh, adapters to go on there. I've got some XT90s on their way, so that should do the job. But yeah, pretty well packed. Protected well. Uh, I know, yeah, yeah, that's actually, yep, yeah, it's got plenty of charge already in it, so that's cool. So we've got the charging port there. I think that just spins around. Yeah, the charging port there. Obviously the on and off switch. And yeah, there's a tray underneath. Must be four or five kilos in weight, this battery. It's pretty weighty. Surprise. So yeah, some decent long cables there. At least, what? About 300 mil in length, so there's pl plenty there to work with. And there you go. And the battery is obviously going on my aluminium Apollo here, which is uh, not, the, not the greatest bike, but it's got disc brakes, it's got suspension. Um, I've got some new bars for it, which uh, I've got some, um, some nice carbon fiber bars here. And uh, really light, they absolutely don't weigh anything. So, and they're slightly longer, these are 700 mil in length. 
So I think these ones on there are only about 580 and they're a bit too short. So um, there's a extra, or well, about 60 mil each side. So it just gives me a bit of extra for the uh, cockpit, you know, the display. And I'm gonna change this gear, gear shifter here, the twist, uh, twister shifter here. I'm gonna change that to the, you know, a, a normal uh, shifter, which is gonna go on here. I'm, uh, I'm gonna leave this one for the time being. I'll just leave that as a twist. I mean, it's not hurting. So um, I've also changed, I'm also waiting on a new um, uh, bar riser here as well, because this one absolutely weighs a ton, this one on here. So I've got a, um, an aluminium one coming for that, which is also, I've got this, an adjustable angle as well, so I can change, rake, change the rake. Um, I've also got a, um, a new seat post, but it's a, one of those suspension seat posts. I've never had any experience with these before, so um, I'll be interested to see how they absorb, you know, the, the, the bumps and everything, because obviously these, this is a hardtail. So I need something on here. So I'm looking forward to fitting that. And um, yeah, it's, it's, it's moving on now. So um, I'm, I'm really, really chuffed. So guys, the um, Project E-Bike is actually moving forward now, finally. And, um, and uh, yeah, I just wanna I show my progress on YouTube and uh, hopefully get some uh, help from uh, you guys who are some very experienced guys out there and um, and yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hopefully see you on the next one take care now